Hey you guys, this is Josh and Carolyn with Homesteading Family and welcome to this week's episode of The Pantry Chat. Yay. Food for thought. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Thanksgiving is coming up. You guys excited? I, we're excited. We're excited. We we're always excited. We love Thanksgiving. Uh -huh. It is our favorite holiday of the year. Absolutely. But we'll get to that in a minute. Uh-huh. If you're new and you don't want to listen to all the upcoming chit chat, you want to jump right ahead to the main topic, check the timestamp. Absolutely. And you can hop on down to the main topic. Alrighty. So today the main topic is Thanksgiving. It is Thanksgiving, right? And kind of our um, traditions. Right. And I think you've put together a menu. Yes, we have our menu. Our menu this year? Well, it's pretty standard. We have a pretty we standard menu. We, we have one for major us. rotation this year, though. We do. We have a major the change up. The meat right. is a major change up, yeah. not our normal. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get but, to that. But, but yeah, so you've got our menu on mm -hmm. there, and we're going to talk about some of our tra traditions, some uh -huh. of our family traditions that, that we've started with you and I and our right. family. And I'm going to give you some of my top tips for preparing a large family meal, lots of people dinner. Very cool. So, like All right, so hopefully yeah. give you guys some ideas and mm -hmm. just share our Thanksgiving with you. So right. uh, before we get into that though, what's going on with you? How has your Ooh. week been and uh, what's up? The week has been great. You know, I'm this time of year, I like to be bulking up on a lot of the um, the things that I make in bulk. <laughs> That's kind of a funny thing to say. I like to get a lot of pie crusts into the freezer. Yeah. I like to make sure that my convenience food shelves are filled to the top before we hit um, holidays, the, all sorts of fun things. Those so. pie crusts tie in big to one of our family traditions around Thanksgiving. Right, so right. Hang on <laughs> so we'll be getting that's, back that's, to that. I'm excited to hear right? that. <laughs> and oh, I'm going to tell you right now because I'm sure we'll refer to it later, but we've put together a link for you with a special printable document with some of our top favorite holiday family recipes and my favorite pie crust, my go-to pie crust is in there. All right. And so these are just, you know, Things we use for Thanksgiving, Christmas. Christmas, kind yeah. of our, our family holiday wow, favorite. Cool. So that's yeah. Good. That's gonna be cool. It's, I good, it's seen a good that one, yet, yeah. But... It's got some good stuff in there. Yeah. So so yeah, that's what I've been doing. Lots of pie crusts and beans, canning beans, yep. chili, all that kind of stuff. So lots of good canning. Very cool. So what about you? What have you been doing? Oh man, you know, it's just still mostly all about winter prep right now. Uh -huh. We're trying to get mom and dad's house. If you guys know we're we're uh, building them a house. Right. And uh, trying to get that dried in. It's almost there. Almost there, yeah. Yep. We had a couple questions on how it was going yeah it's going well we right? should try to get a photo up or something yeah but yeah it's going well so in the last stage it's not a finishing it we'll have to finish it out over the winter but mm -hmm. uh, just getting it completely dried in which okay. are garage doors and a few things we need to do before we can put the garage doors up okay what is your completion hopeful date it's a construction project <laughs> it's a hopeful day are you do you say that out loud um, I hope, mom and dad might be watching. I know. So. Hope, hopefully, mom and dad. The end of February is the goal. The goal. We okay. have a little longer than that before they need to be in there, but right. but that's the goal. Is the end of February because we have some other plans we're considering, and uh, it looks so really good. It, it, Cool. Coming I, I sure think so. Yeah. yeah I think it's fucking really neat. The yeah. guys have been working on it, been doing great. Yep. So, working on that, um, finishing up the barn prep, we finished the garden prep. And got that all done. Yep. And a little more firewood to get in. Okay. And uh, Tristan and I got out hunting. So yeah. my first day out hunting and took okay. it this season and took a good hike and yeah. and saw a little bit. Didn't get anything yet, but um, so that's about it. There's more season left to go. Yeah, absolutely. So <laughs> yeah. doing good and just really looking forward to Thanksgiving. Yeah. And uh, taking a little break, a lot mm -hmm. of good food and family. Absolutely. Though we're gonna miss some of our family this year. Oftentimes yes. we have a lot of family, uh -huh. and our own um, direct family besides us aren't. Nobody's gonna be here this year, so that's a little unusual. It is a little for unusual, us. Yeah. 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 So but... gonna miss you, mom and dad, granddad, grandma Jeannie. Yeah. Grandma Lyle, <laughs> if you're out there mm -hmm. seeing this. Yep. Absolutely. Alrighty. Question okay. of the day. Question of the day. Okay. Question of the day is from Annette Gilmer. Hi, Annette. Um, she's asking about jars, actually. There's a whole interesting discussion going on about jars and cans. Right, yeah. <laughs> Maybe in the near future we're, we're going to talk about those two terms. Yeah. Um, and uh, interesting discussion there. But do you have a preferred supplier for all your cans? And she means jars. Do you have, right. Do you have a preferred supplier for all of your jars? No. 
<laughs> not one that I can tell you because um, it really changes from year to year. And, um, you know, my best advice on this is to go to your local hardware store, like your small town hardware store, probably not your big uh, Home Depot or Lowe's. I don't even know if those places carry canning I've never supplies. Looked. But, um, you know, I, I don't even know, Ace Hardwares or something like that. Mm -hmm. Your do smaller one, do Ace, it best. Yep. They, they will also, they will often have the best deal on canning jars that I have been able to find. Now, my, my best recommendation though is to go there, figure out your average per jar price for a brand new jar, okay. and then start going to yard sales, go to thrift stores, put the word out in the community that you're looking for canning jars, even if that means just dropping it in the community um, Facebook group or something like that. Let people know that you're looking for jars. Now, you always want to make sure they don't have chips um, or nicks anywhere, and you want to make sure that they sound, you know, really good quality. I probably have a canning jar within reach here. Here we go. You know, they sound like they're not cracked. They don't have any hairline cracks. So make sure you're always testing that. But if you know your per jar price, which you can get a new one for, you can often find them for cheaper at a thrift store or yard sale. But it's really important to know that per jar new I was going to say, but not necessarily. Sometimes somebody's got them and they're expensive. Some, even at thrift stores, even in yard sales, I've seen them for double what I can get a brand new jar for. And, yeah. you know, I, no thank you. I'll just buy a brand new jar for that. Yeah. Um, especially if there's any cleanup to do. If they're a wreck, I won't touch it unless it's really a cost saving. So... Cool. Um, so yeah, look local and look for used is really going to be your best option. All righty. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Well, thanks, so, Annette. We hope that helps you out. Yeah. And um, we've got a lot to cover, so we are going to dive right into Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> so we get excited about this time of the year. It's our favorite holiday. And so I guess the first thing to cover is why. Why, why, why is Thanksgiving your favorite holiday? Oh, I guess it feels like the culmination of the year, of a year of hard work in one mm. way. And yeah. we get to celebrate, one, the year, but also, um, you know, we put those seeds in the ground in the garden and we hope that they grow. I mean, we do our best, we work well, we prep our soil, we do everything. Mm -hmm. But there are so many things that can go wrong from putting that seed in to the end. And so it's just this moment of thankfulness to God for making it grow, to, you know, just the year, to the hard work, to everybody involved. So I guess to me, it just feels like the culmination of a lot of hard work. Cool. So I, I really like that. Very cool. Yeah, what about you? Well, I, I would ditto that. Yeah. Uh, absolutely, but I also love it that they just, whoever they is, haven't figured out how to commercialize, <laughs> overly commercialize Thanksgiving. Right. right, And it just feels pure to me. It's a time to celebrate our faith, to thank God for yeah. Jesus, what he's done for us, to thank him for what we have in this life, for yeah. family, and to really come together in a way that just doesn't have all the distraction of a lot of our other holidays like Christmas and Christmas right. is wonderful. I love Christmas yeah. and there's, there's awesome reasons why we celebrate Christmas, but Thanksgiving just doesn't have a lot of the pressure and a lot of, it's just food, family, <laughs> thankfulness and right. some good fun. There's and only so many turkey shaped platters that anybody can sell. So. Well, and I, <laughs> and I, you know, I, we were joking earlier because I think it's been so hard for them to commercialize. Now all they can do is just start selling Christmas stuff now, before weeks, Thanksgiving. weeks before Thanksgiving, because <laughs> yeah. they really can't. And I love that. It just feels untouchable to yeah. me. And it's it's a, just kind of a pure holiday as far yeah. as our, our, our biggies that we celebrate. Right. I really, yeah. really like that. So. Okay, so I have another one. Okay. Anytime that we get to get friends and family together are like special, special yeah. times to yeah. me, especially sharing a meal. That's gonna, I can almost not even say that without tearing uh, up. I love those moments when we all get to be together together big table, lots of people laughing and sharing and just enjoying each other's company. Like I just, to me, that's about as close to heaven as we're going to get on this side of well, and we really yeah. picked that without these other things so much in consideration right. long before we were producing our own food uh -huh. or, or even thinking about commercialism too much. Um, we decided to take over Thanksgiving for the family right. early on yeah. in our first couple of years of marriage. And so it has been that time for us right. to bring in as people. much of the family over yeah. and having large, fun gatherings around the table. Yeah. And um, so just a really, really special time. Let us know what's your guys' favorite uh, holiday and, um, and why. 
Yeah. Be cool to hear from, yeah. from some of you. It'd be really cool if we could have all of you guys with us too. We just need a whole lot bigger table. <laughs> Convention center. <laughs> there we you go. Wanna, you want to do that one Thanksgiving? Yeah, that'd, that'd be, be a, fun. Could you imagine that the table? That would be a long, long table. table. Everybody, it would have to be a potluck. Everybody'd have to bring some food. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, boy, how many how many recipes you'd get to try? Oh yeah, that that'd would be, be really that'd cool. be a lot of fun. Okay. All right, we better keep going. Yeah. Okay, so what's important to us during Thanksgiving? I, I guess we're kind of covering that a little bit already. So, but um, you know, what, what do we try to focus on a little bit? Okay, so one I know for us is connecting, maybe a lot for me, but connecting friends and family. Yeah. Getting people me, together. Absolutely. Me gathering too. together. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And included in that is often giving someone else a place to be. We often, yeah. besides family, try to find, try to open up a seat or seats uh, if God's put anybody in our life that we see um, needs a place to be. Yeah. And people who don't have that yeah, chance to connect yeah. with their friends or family yeah. at Thanksgiving. We want to make sure they have a place to be. Yep, so, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. That's really and, important. And um, sharing in Thanksgiving, just thanking God for all that we have. So many sharing ways. and giving thanks. Sharing and giving thanks. Sure. While sharing in Thanksgiving. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. It's also a time that we um, like to think about our faith a little bit. And right. of course, as Christians, obviously Christmas and uh, Easter, or I like to call it Resurrection Day, are big for us. Mm -hmm. But again, Thanksgiving just has that moment to do that without all the other things that come with it a lot of times, a lot of the other distractions. So, and so I enjoy that with our family and friends and with right. you and our family. Just thanking God mm -hmm. and that part of our faith for, uh, yeah, for this life absolutely. and all he's done. Okay, another one for us, another thing that's really important we try and do during Thanksgiving is to connect our family, ourselves, and especially our children to history. Yeah. So both our cultural country's history, mm -hmm. you know, pilgrims and, and Native Americans and Right. The, the, first found, the founding of our right? current culture and, and country. Right. And, and but, the sacrifices that were made for that. Absolutely. But also the um, our family history. Yeah. And we have a few traditions that play on that. I was going to say, that leads yeah. right into some of our tra traditions. And yeah. one that, that um, well, you, you've actually started several of these. Right. Uh, so Mayflower Night. Tell everybody about them. We have a Mayflower Night the night before Thanksgiving. So we've done it the night before, but I think general consensus is we need to move it a few nights out because it's just too much work against <laughs> the big meal. But oftentimes, uh, the night before Thanksgiving... We do a what we call Mayflower Night. Yep. We all um, go sit in a spot on the floor, some hard floor, turn down the lights, have a candle or a lantern flickering. I even have a soundtrack with an old wooden creek uh, ship creaky, creaking, creaky, creaky ship, ship in the ocean. Yeah, and we sit around real tight and we eat hardtack and um, with, you know, some version of what they used to call salt horse, so meat, dried mm -hmm. out meat, some dried out cheese, and um, we really get to enjoy... Sure. Um, a warm, a warm ale. That's what they drink. A warm ale, warm yeah. flat ale. It's yeah. not good. It's like it's so yeah. awful. <laughs> One Sorry, of some of our English friends. I know yeah. some of you guys like warm <laughs> ale. But, um, that's the one time of year. Yeah. Only. We, yeah. yeah. So, okay. But it, it's a good reminder to point to the history and, and some of the foundings. And it really goes past the pilgrims just into the history and that people paid a price to have the freedoms that we have today. Right. It's, and, a, it's kind of an example of the um, discomfort. Um, not that sitting in our living room on the hard floor is that uncomfortable. But, you know, it's more comfortable than sitting in the dining room in cushy chairs. And the sacrifice of having less mm -hmm. and so we have a very kind of meager type meal that's not so palatable and then that leads right into the thanksgiving feast on the right. other side and so it's just a good way um to point to our kids some of the history there and, and it's the one time of year that you can get the kids excited about eating dry stale food Right. <laughs> they love it. They're excited. They are. <laughs> Until they're eating it. But, they're, yeah. Right. Okay, so we got to keep moving <laughs> okay, here. Okay, keep moving. Um, so another tradition is the family tablecloth. Oh, this, this is, is so cool. This is so awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Years ago, right when we first started hosting mm -hmm. our Thanksgiving, yeah. we went, we got a couple of really big, nice cotton tablecloths. Yep. Um, just white tablecloths. And every year I get fabric pencils and we have everyone write in their own writing, every guest at Thanksgiving, the, to complete this sentence. I am thankful for, 
And then you write what you're thankful for and you put your name and your date. And, and you make it as long of a paragraph <laughs> as you can. <laughs> You've got five words or less. <laughs> <laughs> because? Because then I take all of those and embroider all of them. So, And then year after year, we use the same tablecloth. And it has become so special because we are preserving the actual handwriting and the thoughts of people and many of our family members are no longer with us. In the past, and, and many yeah. of our guests that, have, that guests have come and come gone and go. over the years. And it is a bit of a, a labor of love on the other side because yeah. sometimes we have you, over 30 people at our table. You hand embroider right? all of that. The people who are little, too little to write, we do the hand outlines. That's fine. And so we have a lot of little hands that people then sit down and people do funny things, people do serious things. Yep. Uh, occasional guest or two won't listen to me and puts in whole poem verses. And <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, but it's really fun. It's fun to look back on. It is. It's beautiful. And it's, yeah. they're just going to be a wonderful heirloom piece yeah. for the kids' time and part right. of their heritage and their culture. Yeah, really and, is. Uh, okay, so uh, we've got two more here. Uh, shooting. We love to shoot, usually between the meal and dessert. Right. And no matter what the weather, we try to go out and the girls Good. try to, well, they don't try. The girls show us up on the handguns, <laughs> which we're usually just shooting handguns because we're not getting too elaborate that day. Right. But, um, yeah, we just like to go out and shoot a little bit. That and, is a lot of fun. And, I love getting to do several that. several years, you and Jess, yeah. some family friends of ours that, that come over regularly, yeah. uh, often just lay it down. <laughs> and just, you haven't picked up a pistol, and sometimes since the year before. Right. And uh, so that's fun. That's a lot of fun. It's always fun. Make a little, make a little noise. <laughs> that's good. And, of course. Okay, this one's yours. Yes. You implemented this one, and you can take all the responsibility for all the sugar comments we're about to get. Yeah, well, there's a, pie, there's a season for everything, right. and there is a season for pie. Pie. So every year, uh -huh. I encourage everybody to bring or make a whole lot of pie for uh -huh. Thanksgiving because in our house, we get to eat pie for breakfast every day after Thanksgiving until the pie is gone. It used to be <laughs> when we had fewer children that that could drag it actually, it out. It actually lasted a week or longer. It, it used to. Yeah. And now... We're it lasted like, about as long as the pies would last. Right, exactly. Now, now I got to clarify, that's not only having pie. It's it's having pie with breakfast. We right. don't go totally yeah. off the deep end. But. No. <laughs> Mama <laughs> but insists it, on some good protein. <laughs> yeah, so it's pie with breakfast. Right. But that's just a, a lot of fun. I don't know, somewhere after a few years of having leftover pies, I, I, I thought... Well, we did. We had a lot there in the early lot, days. Right. A lot of people brought pies, and there was a lot. Mm -hmm. And it, we had them for breakfast just for fun to use them right and we said i said you know what i like this it's cool thankfully there are some really good pumpkin pie recipes where you can really decrease the sugar <laughs> and that's my that's what i go for is the ones with a little bit less sugar in the morning for me personally i don't mind if the kids I, have it for i burn days. it off usually the 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 last couple of weeks of thanks of uh, november i'm hunting hiking hunting a lot that's the best Lots time of to be hunting. <laughs> yeah so I, I burn it off yeah well. so you're good but yeah. anyways Cool. Okay. All right, so that's a few of our traditions, and guys love to hear some of your traditions. Oh, yeah. Leave us a few comments, yeah. and it's just always fun to see what you're doing. So share a little bit with us about your Thanksgiving, if you would. Yeah, and if you don't have any, find a tradition. Just start doing it every year. You don't have to have big family consensus. Just start doing it, and it becomes a tradition really quickly. Oh, and it just bonds just, the family. It really does. Yeah, it, yeah these, these things are made to hopefully carry through some things to pass back. Mm -hmm. and Tie um, generations some things together. To just give us a yeah. reason to need to have some good New Year's resolutions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. Right. Okay, so we're going to talk about our menu yeah, this year. Yeah, all right, that's awesome. You're you going to share our menu. Yep, dive in. Let's go now. Okay. You got to keep it moving, though. So I got to keep it moving. There's a bit okay. here. It's a big We're going to go through it. We are going to have, as we often so have, these different does, meals. Is this going to be posted? Are we putting this in the to give people ideas? I did not have this posted anywhere. Okay. But I could do that. We could put it in so, the description just for an idea. I could put it in idea. the description. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to have um, an ancient wheat sourdough Parker House rolls. I'll be using Kamut because that's my favorite ancient wheat for people for baking with, especially when we have guests over. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Move faster. Mashed potatoes, of course. 
With gravy. With, well, with it's gravy. Down it's down there, yeah. What you gotta Great Grandma Ruthie's green beans. Ooh, Those that are was good. My That's grandma. Green beans with a lot of bacon. Yeah, and yeah. That is a, good. <laughs> an old old Mennonite recipe, I think. It is just really, really good. It's really good, yeah. yeah. Um, fermented cranberry sauce. Now Love we have it. a video out on that one, so you can search that one. Um, and that's those are that is so good. That's my favorite favorite cranberry sauce, chestnut and herb stuffing. Ooh. Yeah. Have you ever had chestnut stuffing? Uh, the the place we lived for that we leased for many years before uh -huh. we bought our home here had chestnut trees. Yes. And so we had good at, oh chestnut stuffing is wonderful. It, it takes it to a whole new level. And chestnuts that's... all by themselves, I don't think are that spectacular. Not really. But, but... you stick it in stuffing, and oh. it's like. I, it's yep. just amazing. If you, so, if you haven't tried that and you can get access to chest, you can buy them. Like, I mean, we don't usually just go buy them, but you, you can, can, I think. But you may have to go talk to your grocery store and yeah. ask them to special order them, but you can get them. Really, really If good. you're going to go buy them anyways, get them in the freezer section where they're already peeled because that's the worst part of chestnuts. <laughs> so if you're going to buy them, just get them easy. Yeah. Okay, I may be the only one who eats this because nobody else likes it, but it's m in my family tradition to have some pea salad. It's growing on me over okay. the years. Well, and we have our very own we peas do. this year. And so I am not foregoing my pea salad. I'm absolutely not. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one of our favorites is our roasted root veggie mix. Yep. So carrots, parsnips, beets, whatever we have, potatoes, and the kids love it. If last minute I throw some chopped apples in there, it just adds this great Ooh, flavor to good. it. Yep. Really, really delicious. Okay. Okay. Big change up this year. Well, so uh, for the Thanksgiving menu, it says goose or turkey. It's not usually goose. Usually it would be a home raised turkey. Right. However, with the transition this year and settling turkeys. this new place, we didn't raise any turkeys and right. we had the best flock of geese. Yes. We've ever had eight geese. So we are doing probably two, I'd imagine. We need Fenton to do at least two geese. Fenton and Gertie geese. had 11 goslings this year. Is it 11? Uh, or do we have no, 11 total? No, we have 11 total. We, they had eight. We have too many geese. Because, because we have the, <laughs> so, ba the bachelor. I don't remember his so name. So we're not only going to have Christmas goose, we're going to have Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving goose this goose. year as well. Which so. is great. That's awesome. Yeah. I'll miss the turkey a little bit. Yes. Some years we do a turkey and a large prime, yes. depending on who's here. Um, but uh, we don't have our beef in yet, and mm -hmm. so we're going to go with a couple geese. Goose. And that will be great. Gooses. Gooses. <laughs> Gooses. And, but there's something that's not on here that has to go with the goose. Oh. It's oblig obligatory that you make okay. that goes with a goose. Okay. The compote. I know oh. you have it. Ooh, I'm pretty I, sure I've, I've seen made it. On it. The yes, jars. it's on the sheet. Yeah, the compote. It's sitting right there. Ooh, actually, here, you, you gotta, can you grab gotta check that. this out. Here. It is my, but I did not give them this recipe. So now sure. we're gonna get. Yeah, right here. there. That's it. It's dark. Yeah, ah. this year it's dark. Okay. Cranberry orange. Cranberry rhubarb orange yes. compote. If yeah. I'm saying that right. Compote. Yeah. Um, if you're going to do something like a goose or even duck, this is It's really good with the turkey, wonderful. too. Instead of it, just it cranberry yeah. sauce, this is yeah. what we've gone to. And it is so good. And I can it every year when the rhubarb is out in the yeah. garden. So Cool. Very good exciting. stuff. Okay, yeah, you're right. I missed that one. Gravy. We've got our elderberry mead. You got your elderberry. It's going to be on better the, get it bottled. we got to get you a bottle. It's been racked for a while. Yeah, it's ready to yeah. go in the bottle. Yep. Um, of course, some pumpkin spice tea lattes and espresso lattes because right. we're always cool. going to have a latte somewhere. And then some homemade sparkling cider. That right. is so easy. I love that stuff. It's yep. just apple juice with a little whey of some sort added in just give the it, day it gives before. It a bubbly. Ooh, yep. you got to watch it. That stuff gets explosive. So make sure it's in a plastic container so you can see it swell and you can burp it. But what's going to happen if great. you just let that sit with the whey? What's it going to turn into? Is it just going to go to it's a gonna vinegar? It's going to turn into a bomb. Well, it's going to explode all over your Okay, kitchen. well, don't tell the boys that. No. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> but, explosive. But I mean, if you just, you did, you let vented it and everything. Oh, yeah. You know, I know fermenting other ways, but with the whey and the, and the apple juice, is oh, that... Oh, yeah, that's that a gonna, good question. I don't know. Is that going to a cider or, or yeah. into a vinegar or... I, I would actually imagine it'd go alcoholic first. Yeah. Yeah, just as long as you didn't get any airborne stuff in the yeasts in there that would make right. it go um, to vinegar. Then I think I have to experiment with that. It just yeah. just gives me because, some ideas just okay. about yeast sources because we're always looking for more natural yeast sources. And so. then of course a ton, a ton, ton of, pies. of pies, pumpkin pie cake. Have you ever had pumpkin pie cake? cake? This is Rachel's. Cranberry apple tart that yep. she makes. Oh my goodness, but we if, have so much. But if you food. haven't had pumpkin pie cake, at least the way you make it, 
I, don't, I mean, you I don't love want to know pie. the recipe. It is so bad for you. <laughs> like, I don't even want to publish that because uh, you shouldn't eat yeah, it. But, but it, it is, is so good. It is so, so once so a good. year, one time yeah. a year. Yeah. All <laughs> okay, right, moving on. We're getting down there in time, okay. and you are going to give everybody tips okay, for tips. prepping for a large meal. Right. Okay. okay. Prepping for a large meal. First of all, write out your entire menu and then work backwards with your schedule for whatever you can make as far out as you can make it. Get pie crust in your freezer a week, two weeks ahead. Get some of those early things that you can get done. Get those done as far ahead as you can. Um, and then spread out the other things that need to be done on the week of Thanksgiving, but you know, start a couple days out with things that can be totally pre-prepped um, and move in. You always need to have a little bone broth gravy. You know, there's always something. The can, stuffing, you need to have that. So can, those are great things to have ahead of okay, time. Okay, that's what I was gonna say. Giving a few right. people ideas of what yeah. they can do ahead and what things really need to be left for the day of. Right, the pie crust can be ahead and in the freezer. The bone broth can be ahead a week pie and filling. in the fridge. Pie fillings, so a lot of done. those can be, um, can be either canned, like your apple pie filling, so those should have been done a couple weeks ago anyways in the fall, or could have been done. And of course you can have your pumpkin all ready and in the freezer if you have it all pureed mm -hmm. and ready to go. There's a lot of things that you can do out early. Even making your, um, if you're not making a sourdough bread to go with it, if you're making a regular yeasted bread, you can get that made and frozen, the, the dough frozen, so it's really easy to make last minute. Yeah. But then you have other things that can be made the day before and things that have to be made the day of Thanksgiving. Those things, whatever prep you can do the day before, make sure you do it. Chop your veggies for the stuffing, even though that needs to be actually cooked the day of Thanksgiving. And I have one to add because I do do the meat. Yes. And mm -hmm. we like to um, leave them on the hoof, as it were leave them on the right. foot um, and wait, but it's best to process your bird the day before. Yeah. Not the day of. I've done the day of and we get it done, but it can get a little stressful. You so, don't need any added right. stress. <laughs> so if you do it the day before, in most places, you're going to live. I mean, if it's really warm, then you can't do this, but you can prep the bird the day before and just put it in the fridge or have it in a cool place. Mm -hmm. um, and it's all ready to go for you the next day. Yeah. That's we a great we way eat to early, go. so we've got to have it in, in the oven early because yeah. we do long and slow. Um, but yeah, do that the day before if you are harvesting your own. You know, which right. I highly recommend. There's just nothing oh, like a so turkey good. or a goose that hasn't been frozen. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, I guess some of my notes I've already actually covered. Man, cool. I'm You're doing good. Yep. Yeah. Um, make Chopper. sure you start your fermented cranberry sauce about two days beforehand. Okay. Two to three days if you're going to make that. Um, chop everything you can early. Always get extra butter. Or have extra butter ready. You always need more butter than you remember. You need it for the table, you need it for the pie crust, you need it for everything. Mashed potatoes suck up butter like nothing else. You need it for the guy that likes a little bit of roll with his butter. Right, exactly. So you need a lot of butter. Just get, more, get double the amount you think you need and get that. Um, make sure you pro plan a easy dinner the night before. Mm -hmm big pot of chili something really easy that's not going to take a lot of work and plan a side. casserole for thanksgiving morning and get it in the fridge beforehand carolyn has really some important. great breakfast casseroles i'm sure we'll have a link in the description yeah. for ideas right. on that and even you know a couple of them get mm -hmm. you a couple days out you can have casserole and pie don't forget to buy. <laughs> casserole and pie. It's good. We really like the Amish breakfast casserole, and that is in that link you can grab mm -hmm. because that's really meaty and um, really carries you until that Thanksgiving meal. Now, here's one that's mm -hmm. not so much a time saver, but that is important to us and to a lot of people. Right. In past years, we've had we've just used paper plates because there's just so much going on, so many things happening, and we are starting to forego the paper plates and just use dishes. Ask your guests to 
Get everybody, get everybody to pitch in. <laughs> I guess I'm nervous we about just, that. Yeah, ask your guests to wash dishes. Yeah, we, we just, we don't want to do the waste. Over the years, right. we, we try to find more and more ways to reduce waste, and that's yep. a convenience. It's a nice convenience, but it's a lot of waste, and it's not necessary. It really is. It just takes uh, a few minutes to wash dinner dishes, honestly. Yeah, especially if everybody pitches in a little yeah. bit. Yeah, and if you don't have enough dishes, which is often the case, ask your guests to bring some of their own plates. Make it a... B-Y-O-P. Well, and yeah. I, yeah, and you know what? With that, if you uh, just to start wrapping this yeah. up, I just want to encourage you guys, if uh, you're at home, if you're not traveling and yeah. you're hosting Thanksgiving, find somebody to invite if you yeah. can. Find somebody that's not just your immediate family or friends and give somebody a seat at a table and bless them. Yeah, they, maybe it's they, a neighbor. Maybe it's somebody from the local restorium. Yeah. You know, that would be really nice. Yeah, yep. And uh, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Uh huh. We'll look forward to seeing you soon. And I oh, think the next next week, yeah, pantry chat. We are going to do a Q and A session. Hey, so I like those. Fun. Those are so fun. So yeah. okay, great. So if you've got any particular questions, leave those in the comments mm -hmm. below too. And um, yeah, have a great Thanksgiving. Good to hang with you guys, and we will see you soon. Goodbye. Bye.